We pledging allegiance. This is Yahweh allegiance. Back at it again. I got a little word that I wanted to drop here. Uh, I'm focused on Matthew chapter 20, verse 16. But this whole video is going to be about... You can read the whole chapter of Matthew chapter 20. I'm just focused on 16. So it says, So the last will be first and the first last. For many are called, but few are chosen. And we see some, some natural examples of this if we just look at the sports of today, right? I'm just gonna focus on the NBA. In the NBA, you have veterans in the NBA. You know, you got your a bunch of veteran players that they're in there for a while, right? Uh, they got this guy, John Wall. I'm not too familiar with sports, but I, apparently John Wall, he's like one of the highest paid NBA pay, players. There are a bunch of NBA players that have been in there for a while. I'm sure you don't even know who John Wall is. He doesn't even play. He just happens to be the highest paid player. He barely even plays. The thing is, is you have all these players, these veterans, they've been in the NBA, whatever, 10 years, you name it. So right now we got this guy, John Morant. He is like a beast, right? He's killing the game. He just came in the NBA and he is like, he's looking like he's gonna be the next protege. You had Michael Jordan in his day. He comes in, dominates. You got Kobe, comes in, dominates. You know, you have Allen Iverson, comes in, showing the veterans how, how, how it's done. These guys were last, because they're coming in after the veterans have already been there. So you, they're last, but then they're actually first. They dominate in the game. What I'm looking to say here is, even in the natural, we see the examples that it doesn't matter how long you've been doing something, it could be anything. Your trade, you could be an electrician, you know, I'm a, I, I do HVAC. You got guys that have been doing it 20 years, 30 years. Your time frame in something, it means nothing, okay? What determines your success is just ultimately God's grace and how he graces different people with different talents and abilities. That's why some people can just get into something and they're immediately better than somebody who's been doing it for that much longer. So to correlate that over to the, the walk with Christ, there are many of us who we walk, the, walk with Christ some of us been walking with Christ, whatever, 30 years, 40 years, it doesn't matter. You got a guy that can get saved and within two years, he seems to be excelling in the spirit and understanding and wisdom more than you. Don't be envious. That's not your place. The chips fall where they do and God's the one who determines who gets what, right? So in chapter 20, it's talking about the vineyard. A man has a vineyard, he goes out, he gets workers to go in the vineyard, and he hires a bunch of people first thing in the day, they start working, and then he goes out again, he sees more people out there idle, he gets them to come working, so he keeps doing this up until the last hour he's hiring people. And then at the end of the day, everybody's getting paid, and then the last guys are getting paid just as much as the guys who've been working all day and then they're grumbling against the the master who's paying them like well, that's not fair and then he's like who are you to tell me what's fair it's my vineyard it's my money i do what i want with it so whatever i do is fair at the end of the day so i want all of us to just remain in a place of just trying to be humble and trying to abide within god's will and be content with whatever we have in this life. Because it's easy to become envious of other people, their gifts, their abilities, whatever you, you may have it. And I wanna bring up another scripture here, which is John chapter three, verse 12, right? Because I, I brought up uh, the NBA in a, a natural example there. So in John chapter three, verse 12, Jesus said, 
If I have told you earthly things and you do not believe, how will you believe if I tell you heavenly things? So I think there's a very big importance of being able to grasp things on earth, right? We gotta be able to connect natural things on earth to the heavenly things. And Jesus did this time and time again, all his parables, he tied in things on earth and he correlated that to salvation. I, I admonish you guys to pray for more wisdom and understanding so that you can see more of God's lessons here on earth. This ain't prosperity, but I want you to prosper.